Guys, my name is Alex. You're watching TechFlow and welcome to Pimp My Wi-Fi, a special guest today. I hope he's in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. None other than Elliot Davis. What are you doing down here? Well, we've got a, uh, a nice cart here full of a load of gear oh, for, yeah, for uh, the uh, network of your camera. You've had your broadband installed this morning. Yeah, broadband's in. What is the read? 900 down and. Uh, 100 up, which is pretty good. Now it's kind of a bit of a full circle moment because I'm not sure if you guys remember the Syndicate Wi-Fi video all those years ago. Elliot actually helped film that. And now we've traveled all the way to London to Elliot's new gaff to do his. Really cool. So lucky for us, Elliot has fiber in. They've managed to get it turned on just in time. It came on this morning. A speed test shows 900 down and around 100 up. So it's the max package from EE. And with this being a new build, we've got data cables ran to upstairs and other rooms. We've got the aunt in here as well as the EE router that we're going to be replacing. Now the good thing is with Unify, and I even said this in the car earlier, the thing with something like this is the hardest part isn't actually installing the gear, it's overcoming the obstacles that get in the way of you actually installing the gear. The reason why I like Unify is because they do, yes, make higher end gear, but they also cater for those installs that are a little bit tricky. For example, we want some cameras outside, but instead of running three separate cables outside for three separate cameras, we can use a flex switch, which has PoE out and PoE in, making this whole thing so much easier. Let's get to the install. So let's look at the equipment that we've got. Now we are doing this on a budget, but this is a high end budget. Wi-Fi 7, 6 gigahertz, and all of these cameras being the G5 line from Ubiquiti have all the AI capabilities. But with these being the flex, they're the cheapest from the range. Now this, the U7 Pro, a really powerful access point, but we might not need it because this fella has an access point built right in. Wi-Fi 7, 6 gigahertz support, Wi-Fi built in, and most importantly, runs network and protect. So we had some comments on the Krantz Designs video saying that this device records the cameras to an SD card, and people were saying, that is awful, I would not want my CCTV recorded to a micro SD. So obviously we're spinning discs, because when we're, when we're at work as well, we use SSDs because they're more reliable, they're faster, and there's no moving components in them. It's an SD card, so it's obviously a bit different, but hopefully more reliable. If you put a quality card in. Yeah, yeah. Right, so I've taken the EE router away from the situation. We've installed the new UDR7 in here. I've basically connected it into the on, which is where our fiber comes in, and I've given it some power. Currently, the device is showing no internet connection, so now I need to go and sit with Elliot so he can set this thing up. So look, it's come up straight away. Literally came up straight away. Click set up. BT PPP 08. You put BT Home Hub at BT Broadband.com. Save. So that has our ISP settings to connect to the ISP. So now hopefully we will have an internet connection in a minute. So Elliot should now be able to do a speed test. The network portion is set up. And you can see the little waves on it as well, which I'm absolutely geeking out over. It's so satisfying. It's just seeing it do that, isn't it? Now comes the tricky part. We need to get the drill out. Now, saying that, we could do a wireless bridge between the switch that we want to have outside that's going to run the cameras and the main router, but it would always be best to run a cable. So we're going to try and do that first, and that requires some drilling. <laughs> so here's our flex switch. We're going to take PoE in, and then we get four more ports out. And this little device is going to live inside of our weatherproof enclosure. Yeah, so it's popped up here, switch flex, so we can click set up there, and then this is gonna adopt this to your oh, Unify easy. controller. Yeah, done, so just let that, it'll probably do an update now, because it just does it by itself. Wow, it's updating, yeah? Yeah, sick. Huh. 
Uh, I reckon slightly above where you've rigged that cable there, and then two more. Yeah, and then the other one's gonna go down there at the end of the garden, look it back. And yeah. then we're gonna have another one on this corner looking out towards the road. Easy. Yeah, all right, okay, let's go. Okay, so obviously we set all of this up on Elliot's phone via the app, all amazing, really simple, but now there's some little housekeeping things we can do inside of Protect and Network. We're gonna create a new network and we're gonna disc check 2.45. Right, so you can, if you want to, put a dash five at the end of Lord of the Pings, but five gigahertz is gonna be your main network you're gonna to wanna to use most of the time. Okay. So I'd leave that as Lord of the Pings and you've got your six gigahertz and your two gigahertz. Mm -hmm. So I'll put all your smart devices, like smart plugs and things like that on your two gigahertz network. Okay. And anything that can see the six gigahertz network, like this new laptop can go on your six. Right. If your phone's a bit older, it might not have a six gigahertz network, it might only see five gigahertz. Yeah, yeah. So your phones and stuff might want to go on five. Or basically, two is the slowest, five is the good middle ground, and six is the fastest. Yeah, that's rain. Now this is where it gets really interesting. If you click on this alarm manager here, you can say, create new alarm. Yeah. All right. We're going to do an object. Yeah. Right. We're going to do a person. Person. Right. And we're going to choose a camera. So do your garden camera. Garden camera. Yeah. And then we're going to notify. Notify. All admins. And you could do custom content. And you could put, type in here, someone's in the back Someone's garden. in the garden. So let me go and stand in the back garden and watch your phone. Yeah, done it. Did you do it? Someone is in the garden. <laughs> Sick. There you go. So now you can have some fun with setting up some alarms and different things. So you could say when a vehicle is detected. Yeah, that's cool. And obviously you can change the content of the message on your phone. What about a guest network? Should we do that quickly? Sure, yeah. Then you go to networks. And we're going to click new virtual network. That's it. And then turn on guest network. So now we have a new network called uh, Lord of the Things Guest with VLAN ID 2. So now what we'll do is click on Wi-Fi. So this now will be your Wi-Fi name for the guests. So okay, I'll change this to the guest network. Yeah. Click on manual and we'll turn off 2.4 for this, but leave it on five and six. So now we have a new Wi-Fi network that will be on its own separated VLAN. So anybody that's on that guest network can't see things that are on your private network, like your TVs. That's cool. So you have guests in and they can't come and cast your <laughs> TVs, for example. Yeah, it's all yeah. private, yeah? Ah, so sense. creating a private network and a Wi-Fi to go with it and yeah. tie them together. I've always wondered why there's always like a guest version or everything, but that makes sense. Then. Yeah, because it's separate. You're just trying to make sure people don't have access to your stuff. Imagine yeah. if someone came here and then started could log in onto access. your router and stuff and your cameras and yeah, yeah, just yeah. keep them separate and gives them internet access. Yeah, sweet. And you could do things like you could limit the speed of that specific network. Oh, okay. So you could go in and say, oh, I only want them to get five meg each, but I just leave it because you're going to be amazing. You want to give them the full whack. Right, so in about three hours, we've given Elliot a full Unify experience and three cameras to protect his new gaff with AI. Everything is working. Now, because this is a new build, luckily enough, they've ran data cable all over. We need to get Elliot's TV connected upstairs. So this is a case of trial and error, our last port. Yep, so we picked up an IP address there. We've got the LAN connection in, so ping lovely, and there we go. Right, sick, network connected, just like that. There we go, six gigahertz upstairs. Bosh! Smashed it. Ellie, happy? Yeah, very happy. What's your thoughts? I just... <laughs> <laughs> That's too... I was about to do the whole sales pitch. But no, it is honestly amazing. I'm, I'm a camera geek, so I do cameras for a living. And I wanted something that was really good, but I get fed up with things like Ring and other, other like subscription-based things. Ring, Arlo. I just don't like the fact that you can't go back to any exact second that something happened. But, and the other thing is that all your footage has been recorded to someone else's server. Exactly. Whereas yeah. this is all in your gas. It's all here and I've got control of it. And yeah, it just it's great and it looks wicked and I really appreciate it, Alex. It's very uh, it's very helpful, mate. I knew it. I knew knowing him would pay off eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Today's the day. And now we thank our sponsor.
Squarespace. Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to help you build a custom website tailored to your specific needs. We use Squarespace to make mmwifi.io, my Wi-Fi company's website, which looks absolutely stunning with all of the animations. Unlock your creative and earning potential with features like Squarespace Payments, which lets you manage your transactions easily and effortlessly in one place enabling you to sell products on your Squarespace website, accepting the major payment methods like Klarna, Apple, and Clearpay. If you're ready to bring your website to life, then you can save 10% on your first Squarespace purchase or domain using code TECHFLOW, or go to squarespace.com forward slash TECHFLOW. We'll have that linked below. And thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring the video.